we're gonna introduce this vulnerability that just went from the fifth place to the number one spot of OWASP top 10 vulnerabilities. This is called broken access control, and some people call it insecure direct object reference or IDOR, and some people call it path directory traversal. We're gonna talk about the basics, and we will also demonstrate the actual attack manually and automatically using Python scripts. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I'm the internet. Action Star. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. Broken access control is sometimes called insecure direct object reference or IDOR. This happens when an application grants access and control to resources based on user's request with no validation. It's basically accessing resources that doesn't belong to a specific user. This is done when a user's supplied input is unvalidated and provide direct access to the requested page or object. The impact of IDOR may vary depends on the level of access, but it could be from accessing sensitive information to data modification, such as changing of other users' password. It can also escalate privilege, such as having an administration rights on the website. It's one of the most common bug or web vulnerability reported to bug bounty programs. HackerOne reported over $2 million bounties in 2020 alone. Broken access control was listed as number five, now as the number one OWASP web vulnerabilities. The worst thing can happen during broken access control is when the attacker would be able to read sensitive system files, such as shadow and password files, and many others. And if the attacker able to access files outside the web root folder, such as this, this is already escalated as path or directory traversal attack. As you can see, the URL consists of multiple dot dot slash. This is equivalent to accessing directories outside the web root. In short, path traversal is some kind of broken access control, but system level and more dangerous than IDOR. Our topology is very simple, and we have two nodes, the attacker and the target web server. We will test IDOR vulnerability from the Kali Linux, also known as the attacker, towards to the web server. We'll do it first manually, then the second example is automated using Python script. I'm here at Stick Show blog site, and I'm gonna show you how IDOR or broken access control works. So I will log in first using my username. I'm gonna click sign in, and my username is Hackshonstar. So Hackshonstar. And uh, the password is, okay, and then I'm gonna click login. And as you can see, I am login. We don't see any parameters on the URL. And even if I go to a different page, for example, if I go to the blog page, and you may think this Django framework is already secure because there are no parameters and values in the URL, but no. If I click change password, you will still think it's secure because there's still no parameters and values. But if I add a value, for example, uh, slash 10, as you can see, the username changes to Dean underscore Armada. Not the username that is currently logged in because it's still Haction Star. Uh, the Dean Armada, this is the username where we are allowed to change the password. Now, if I change the value in the URL, like slash 30. Now we are capable of changing the password of a different username, Spoonman. 
So that's an example of broken access control or IDOR using Django Web Framework. And I am back here at the Stick Show blog site. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the password automatically using Python script. What we showed earlier is how IDOR works manually and we just guessed which username we can change the password. This time, we will change the password of a specific user and the user is the admin account. So if I click the sign in button, I will attempt to log in as an admin. Okay, so I will enter admin and I will guess the password. So password, not working. And I'll change the password to admin123. It's still not working. Last one, I will change it to hack123. It's still not working. And uh, now we're gonna check the Python script. So I'm gonna hit this terminal and I'm gonna hit enter. I will be using nano to view the idor.python script. Okay, and as you can see, uh, we have few functions. And before the function, I specified the IP address. This is our target website, which is the stick show blog page. And we also um, define new user and a password. So the new username will be Roborat with a password of rat567. Okay, and uh, I will also specify the new password of our admin account, which is hack123. Now, in this first function, what we did here, or what we're about to do is, we're gonna automate the registration. Okay, so Roborat and this password will be automatically registered. And uh, down here, we have the login function. This will automate the login of the newly created user Roborat, okay? Now, down here, this is the function change password where we will actually uh, change the password of an admin. So how does it work is this. We still don't know the, the, the numeric directory of the admin account, okay? And uh, we know the page, which is post slash change underscore password. And what we want to do is we're going to use while loop here, okay? And uh, what it does is in every page, change underscore or change dash password slash one slash two slash three slash five, 10 slash 20, 30, etc. It will look for every page if the admin string or the admin value will match, okay? so will be matching the user admin. If it matches, we'll proceed with the changing of password, okay? And uh, we will be using the password value defined from our variable, which is this one, admin underscore password. And down here, uh, we'll get this message when the script is successfully executed, okay? And uh, the message is, congratulations, you have successfully hacked the admin account. So I'm gonna exit and uh, Let's run the Python script. So Python 3, idor.py. Okay, so let's wait. As you can see, we got the message. Congratulations, you have successfully hacked the admin account. And it says here, the new password is hack123. So let's use it. I'm gonna copy and I'm gonna paste it to our stick show blog page admin login page so I'm gonna paste the password hack123 and I'm gonna click login as you can see it's working and that's how IDOR Python script attack works what we talked about is the basics of broken access control we also compared IDOR and directory slash path traversal. Then we did the actual attack demonstration. This is just the introduction. More advanced discussion on other videos. But next, we're gonna talk about how to prevent IDOR manually and using web application firewall. I will see you on the next video.